And then this jab right there that really knocked Jake back. To fully understand Tyson's reflections, we need to go back to the buildup to this fight. Mike Tyson, at 58 years old, stepped into the ring against Jake Paul, a 27-year-old YouTuber turned boxer who has managed to stir up the combat sports world with his polarizing persona and surprising victories. For Tyson, this fight wasn't just about money or fame, it was about proving something to himself. People were out there saying, we think Mike's too old for this fight. Tell him what you think about that. If you think I'm too old for this fight, you need to come tell me in my faith. Whoa. After years of retirement, health struggles, and personal battles, Tyson saw this as a chance to remind the world and himself of the fighter he's always been. But standing across the ring was a younger, faster, and more active opponent who had everything to gain and nothing to lose. In his candid conversation with Joe Rogan, Tyson didn't hold back. Rogan asked the hard-hitting questions fans wanted answers to. Was Tyson prepared? How did Jake Paul's punches feel? I didn't even feel a single thing. How? Not even like, oh my God, that hurt. Like my skin, like the impact. It was all beard. So like the skin didn't even hurt. And then like, I don't know. I was just. Bro, but your head moved. I even thought I, even thought I saw you like wobble a little bit. Didn't wobble, didn't have any stars, didn't feel nothing. it, nothing. Bro, your head is so big. It didn't hurt. Like, I don't, he didn't really land anything. No, because your head is, like, I just tell you, you can just take landed, impact like crazy. Even the one he landed, I saw it coming and I went like this. And they're like, shh. What does this fight mean for his legacy? Tyson admitted that Jake's speed and energy were undeniable. He's young, he's fast, and he's got a lot of stamina, Tyson said. He also acknowledged that for him, just stepping into the ring was a victory. At his age and after recent health scares, including losing half his blood and undergoing eight transfusions, Tyson revealed that even making it to fight night was nothing short of a miracle. It's rigged or not rigged. Mm, see how hard Mike punches? Everyone thinks that Mike is like toying with him, like Jake Paul is Mike's prison. The fight itself was a spectacle. From the opening bell, it was clear that Tyson's age and health would be a factor. While he landed a few of his signature jabs and hooks, Jake Paul's agility allowed him to control much of the fight. Tyson admitted during the podcast that Jake's punches didn't hurt as much as he expected, jokingly saying, your head's too big. Bro, it didn't even hurt. But for Tyson, the fight wasn't just about the scorecards. I didn't win on paper, he told Rogan, but I feel like I won something bigger. Tyson saw the fight as a testament to his willpower, proving that even at 58, he could face challenges that most wouldn't dare to. Preparing for this fight wasn't easy. Tyson described the grueling training regimen he endured to get into fighting shape, emphasizing the toll it took on his body and mind. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, he admitted. On top of that, Tyson revealed the mental battles he faced. At one point, he considered pulling out of the fight due to his health. A few months before, I was in the hospital fighting for my life, he said. Yet, he pushed forward, driven by a desire to show not just the world, but himself, that he still had the heart of a champion. Understand, it was a big nostalgia hit. It got our attention. It was a big financial promotion for everybody, and it actually worked. Now, the fight was absolutely terrible, and it feels like Paul was holding back his punches. At times, Mike Tyson was holding back punches. These guys went full out on each other, right? It would look bad on Jake Paul for knocking out a guy that's twice his age, right? And it would look bad on... Mike Tyson, if he got knocked out as well, it would tarnish his legacy. Not only that, if Mike Tyson hit Jake Paul and knocked him out, it would ruin the legacy that Paul wants to leave as he continues to fight. He didn't want to tarnish that losing to a guy who's twice as... To answer your question, 100% this was fixed. I sat it out and talked about it. It went to decision because that was a neutral way to end it. And it went the full eight rounds to keep people entertained. They didn't want it to end quickly. 100% it was fixed. It was smart on them. A big money... One of the most surprising parts of Tyson's interview was his respect for Jake Paul. While the younger fighter has been a controversial figure, Tyson acknowledged his hard work and dedication to the sport. Jake isn't just a YouTuber, Tyson said. He's taken this seriously, and it shows. This doesn't mean Tyson was thrilled with the outcome. He joked about wishing Jake had been a tougher opponent to push him further, but he also recognized the challenge of facing someone in their prime. For Paul, this fight was a statement, a way to prove he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a legend, even if the legend wasn't in his prime. The fight also gave Tyson a chance to reflect on the state of boxing and its future.
He told Rogan that the sport is evolving, with new faces like Jake Paul bringing in younger audiences. While some fans and purists criticize influencer boxing, Tyson sees it as a necessary evolution. Boxing isn't just about the ring anymore, he said. It's about entertainment, about bringing people together. Oh, Shannon, you're Super Bowl champion. You know what I'm saying? We've been covering sports. For, I've been covering sports for 30 years. You, it's one thing for an exhibition here, there, whatever. But you can't continue to be allowed to build a career without getting into the ring with fighters. And if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, Shannon, I think the Mexican monster himself, David Benavides, I might be wrong, but I think it was him. He said, I'll fight him. Now, this is a man that fights at 168, Molly. Drake no. Paul was in the ring at man, 228. But, but I'm, no, no, that, this is what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying he was in the ring at 228. And you got a cat 60 pounds lighter than him saying, I'll fight you. You know why? Because what they're saying is, when are you going to fight real box? However, Tyson also emphasized the importance of respecting the sport's traditions and ensuring that new fighters understand its history and values. Since the fight and Tyson's podcast appearance, fans have been divided. Some applaud Tyson for his courage and honesty, calling him an inspiration for taking on such a daunting challenge. Others, however, argue that the fight never should have happened, feeling it risked tarnishing Tyson's legacy. On social media, one fan wrote, Tyson's a warrior, plain and simple. This fight doesn't change that it proves it. Another commented, This wasn't the Tyson we grew up watching. It's sad to see legends put in these positions. The debate highlights just how polarizing this fight was for the boxing community. So, where do we go from here? For Tyson, this might be the last time we see him in the ring. While he hasn't ruled out future exhibitions, his health and age make another fight unlikely. Instead, Tyson seems focused on mentoring younger fighters and continuing his journey of self-discovery outside the ring. For Jake Paul, this fight is another notch in his belt. He's hinted at future matchups with bigger names. Trevante Davis just posted that he would beat the brakes off of you if you guys fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be down. Let's run it. Like, I'll be super, super down. Javante, I don't know. Javante, I don't know if Javante needs Jake Paul. Let's be clear, right? Is there a is there a height limit in boxing? What about you and Conor McGregor? Are you interested in that? Yeah, he'll never do that, though. He knows. He knows way, way, way. One, he's under contract. And two, he's not his own boss. And two, he, he won't. Potentially even transitioning to MMA. Whether you love him or hate him, one thing is clear Jake Paul isn't leaving the combat sports world anytime soon.